Earth's shield is weakening. In the past 3,000 years, our planet's magnetic field has lost about 30% of its strength, and it's still dropping. But here's what most people don't know. This might be just the beginning of something much bigger. Stay with me because I'm about to show you how this invisible force protects us every single day and what might happen when it starts to fail. So, Earth's magnetic field is our planet's first line of defense, an invisible shield stretching far into space. Without it, Earth would look a lot more like Mars, a barren world stripped of its atmosphere by the solar wind. But what exactly is this shield, and how does it work? Earth is just like a giant bar magnet, but instead of a solid piece of metal, the source is actually a massive ocean of liquid iron swirling deep beneath our feet. This molten sea, about 1,800 miles below the surface, creates electrical currents hundreds of miles wide, flowing at thousands of miles per hour as Earth rotates. Scientists call this the geodynamo, nature's own power plant. The spinning metal creates a magnetic bubble around Earth called the magnetosphere. It's not a perfect sphere, though. It's more like a windsock in space. The solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, compresses it on the day side and stretches it into a long tail on the night side. But here's the really cool part. This magnetic field creates two giant donut-shaped zones called the Van Allen belts, which trap harmful radiation from space. Think of them as Earth's very own particle accelerator, catching cosmic rays and solar particles before they can reach us. But this shield isn't as stable as we once thought. In fact, right now, something strange is happening to our magnetic defenses, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. Remember when I said our magnetic shield is weakening? Well, scientists have discovered a massive weak spot over the South Atlantic Ocean, stretching from South America to Africa. They call it the South Atlantic Anomaly, and it's like a dent in our magnetic armor where the field is significantly weaker than normal. This weak spot isn't just an interesting scientific curiosity, it's already causing problems. Satellites passing through this region regularly experience electronic glitches and failures. It's like they're passing through a cosmic weak spot where our shield can't protect them as well. But that's not all. Earth's magnetic poles are on the move. The magnetic North Pole is racing towards Siberia at an astounding 34 miles per year. That's about three times faster than it was moving in the 1990s. Imagine if your compass started becoming less reliable every year. Scientists have found evidence of this pattern before. By studying ancient rocks, they've discovered that Earth's magnetic field has flipped completely, with North becoming South and South becoming North hundreds of times in our planet's history. The last major reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. But how does a magnetic flip actually work? Remember that ocean of liquid iron? Changes in how it flows can weaken some parts of the field and strengthen others. During a reversal, the field doesn't just switch off and on like a light switch. It's more like a dimmer that gradually fades down and then builds back up in the opposite direction. The process can take anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand years to complete. During this time, we wouldn't be left completely defenseless. The field becomes more complex, with multiple magnetic poles popping up in unexpected places. Think of it like a choir transitioning between songs. There's a period where both melodies overlap. What's crucial to understand is that we're not necessarily headed for an imminent flip. Scientists have identified shorter events called excursions, where the field weakens significantly but then recovers without fully reversing. These happen about 10 times more frequently than full reversals, and we might be entering one of these periods now. But what does all this mean for life on Earth? First, the good news. We're not heading for a doomsday scenario. Remember, life on Earth has survived hundreds of these reversals before. In fact, there's no evidence that past reversals caused any mass extinctions. 
the most immediate effects are already visible in our technology. Satellites passing through the South Atlantic anomaly need extra shielding, and some even shut down their sensitive electronics when passing through this region. As the field continues to weaken, these effects could become more widespread. What about radiation reaching Earth's surface? Here's something most people don't know. Our atmosphere is actually our main shield against radiation, and it's as effective as a 13-foot thick concrete wall. Even if the magnetic field weakens significantly, the atmosphere will still protect us from most harmful radiation. However, some animals might face challenges. Species that use magnetic fields for navigation, like sea turtles, whales, and some birds, would need to adapt. But given that these changes happen over many generations, they would likely have time to evolve new navigation strategies. Scientists estimate that at the current state of decay, it might take several centuries or even a millennium before we reach a critical point. This gives us time to prepare our technology and infrastructure. Space agencies are already developing better radiation shielding for satellites and spacecraft. Power grid operators are installing equipment to protect against geomagnetic storms, which could become more common as the field weakens. We're living in a unique time where we can actually study this process as it happens. With satellites like the European Space Agency Swarm mission constantly monitoring our magnetic field, we're learning more about these changes than ever before. So while Earth's magnetic field is indeed changing, it's not time to panic. This is a slow, natural process that our planet has gone through many times before. What makes this time different is that we're here to witness and understand it. If you found this look into Earth's magnetic future interesting, hit subscribe for more videos about our changing planet. And tell me in the comments, what surprised you most about Earth's magnetic field? The fact that it's weakening, or that our atmosphere is actually our main shield against radiation? Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.